Hi, in this video, we are going to learn the oxidation reaction of acetone. Generally, ketone does not oxidize easily. So, only it takes place under drastic condition or with powerful oxidizing agent. Let's write the structure of acetone CH3, C double bond O, CH3. This is acetone. We are going to oxidize it in presence of concentrated nitric acid which is also known as powerful oxidizing agent. What happens? The carbon-carbon bond gets cleaved. Okay, the bond gets cleaved here. This oxygen, the hydrogen from this carbon will get attached here and this oxygen will get attached here. Three oxygen molecules will be taking part in the reaction. So we get CH3COOH. CH3 C double bond O OH. Acetic acid. The remaining things, what are, what are the atoms here? One carbon and two hydrogens are there. So, one hydrogen and one carbon. From here, two oxygen, O, O. And here the remaining hydrogen is there. So, H. This is formic acid. We get a mixture of carboxylic acid when acetone is oxidized. Let's write the name for the structures. This is acetone. It's oxidized in presence of powerful oxidizing agent such as Concentrated nitric acid, we get acetic acid and formic acid. That is, here three carbons are there. The three carbons, the bond, bond get cleaved and we get the lesser number of carbons. That is acetic acid with two carbon and formic acid with one carbon. Let's summarize the reaction. Generally, ketones are not easily oxidized. Under drastic condition or with a powerful oxidizing agent such as uh, concentrated nitric acid or else acidified potassium permanganate or else potassium dichromate. Okay? Here, the cleavage of carbon-carbon bond takes place to give a mixture of carboxylic acid having lesser number of carbon atoms. Here, three carbons are there in the acetone and in acetic acid 2 and in formic acid 1. Then the parent ketone. Thank you.